maybe that's what it was. Oh, okay. I think I got it back. I think we got it back. Okay, cool. Yeah, we're back. <laughs> that was way too much drama. Way too much drama. I am not happy with that. Oh, stupid Windows 11. Unbelievable. Okay, we're back. Great. Um, I think we should just start. I don't really see... I don't see any real, no real reason to keep this going any longer. So, let's go. Let's go. Hi everybody, welcome back to the Sandwich Show. Just a quick show, to, a quick stream tonight. We're gonna do some more Bubble Bobble playthrough. And this will be the last of our run of Bubble Bobble streams um, for the foreseeable future. But uh, it's good to have you here with us. Um, I just upgraded my streaming computer to Windows 11. And you just knew when something like that happens, stuff was gonna be weird. And stuff has certainly been weird all day. It's been kind of annoying, but... Um, uh, yeah, I mean, just just had to go through my audio settings and actually set the device I need in order for um, in order for things to run. I needed. To, let me just test something else before we continue because I want to make sure the the stream alerts are coming through correctly. So give me just a second. I'm gonna test this. I'm gonna test the subscription. Just one second, and I'll do it. Just need to find my settings. I'm gonna test a resub. Here we go. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. It's kind of low, though. Maybe I can make that louder. I'm not sure, but oh, I can make it louder over here. I think that'll work. Does that make a difference? Let me see. Try again. Oh, it does. Yeah, that's great. That seems to be where I want it. Let me try it again. All the Kermit. All the Kermit. <laughs> <laughs> All the Kermit. That should be... Yeah, I think that'll work out fine. Let me see. I think. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I can turn it down. I can always turn that up later. Um, but yeah! Hello! Good to have you back. I mean, I know these have been pretty haphazard streams uh, since we did the Emily show on Monday. But we're glad to have you with us. I'm just going to enjoy a little bit more Bubble Bobble. And then you'll see me at Aaron's Discord. I'll give Aaron a shout out. So if just in case you want to hang out over there, it's an it's a Discord event on Aaron's um, Discord server, and you can do so right here. And then there were two. <laughs> there were two, but this time we were counting up rather than down. So they was started with one, which was me. I think he came in. Hey, Jason, good to see you. By the way, let me go give you a shout out. Uh, Y'all got to follow Jason L. Rush. He's a fun guy, very good mod. I highly recommend. So yeah, give it, give him a follow. But uh, we are just hours away now. Uh, Irene is in the chat. What's going on? <laughs> it's nice to have you back. What you were great on vibing show. So let me give you, let me get two people shout outs yourself. Well, with Irene is fine. Like let's go with Irene. But man, your interview was crazy. I mean, that was just that was just bananas. It really went off the rails. That was just like. It was very, very, very fun and quite hysterical. But uh, if you missed it, uh, do go check out Vibing Show over here and catch the VOD with Irene Pena. It was! It was! Irene says that was insane. It was! And and I, I'm looking forward to going back to your channel um, tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow. I can, I can make it. So I can see this, this, this pants video. I wonder if I'd already seen it though. I'm not sure if I did or not. But, but it was a great spot. Yeah, just just go watch it. Go watch it. It was really fun. Um, so anyway, yeah, just to repeat, yeah, we're gonna be on the, we're gonna be on Dino Street Fest tomorrow, and we're gonna be building Legos, and we have two hours to build them, and I'll, I'll bring us here. Yeah, you, know, you can see on the timer on the corner of the screen that there are only 21 hours, 49 minutes, and around 30 seconds remaining until the people from Dinosaur Street Fest come in, raid in. They will be raiding in from Dan Tremblay Music. <laughs> the pants emotes are, are, are very hilarious, Irene. And and then we're going to, when they do, it'll be, we'll have a half an hour left in our, our stream. And uh, we'll do what we can do. I, I think if we complete the Legos before the raiders come in, we'll have a special Bork song. If we don't, there's an even bigger Bork in store. So the mission for you, the chat, 
as a sta- um, if you're willing to accept it, is to try to to keep me from building the Legos. And there's a lot of ways you can do it. You can do it with Street Stream. You can do it with with the the point redeems. Any kind of raid, any raid will will stop the me from bu- bu- building Legos too. So um, a lot of ways to go about it. Can it and with a two hour window, it's gonna be a tight one. We'll find out who wins, but it'll be really fun. So um, so good to have you back, Irene. And I do want to thank you again for your resub. You have a we have a Twitch baby. So we're from the same hometown. We love the same beer. We love music, and we have a Twitch baby right now. Twitch baby hype for sure. It's so cool. So. Whatever I'll let you name the baby up what you want, but yeah. Anyway, tomorrow, tomorrow's program, yeah. Pump it up, pinch baby hype. So um, tomorrow's show will be uh, as part will be part of Dinosaur Stream Fest, and our program will come on at two forty five Eastern time. But the entire stream fest starts at nine a.m. at Daniela Lars channel. Uh, just go to the link right there, or just go to that URL at the bottom of the screen, and you'll figure out where the stream fest is. And then you just click over to that person's channel. So that's the best place to be tomorrow because then you'll know exactly where people are and who's streaming at what time. So that's the way to do it. So um, very exciting stuff. And uh, while we while we invite you to that. Um, oh, its name is probably 805. It's like a number for a name. That's, that's pretty clever. All right. I'm down with it. I'm down with it. All right. Let's play some, let's play some bubble bobble. I'm, let's talk too. I, I'm good to talk with you. We have some fun tonight, and we'll be going until nine o'clock Eastern time tonight. It'll be a pretty short stream, so we're looking forward to. Oh yeah, Aaron, thank you for that. Um, and as always, we have to, we are good to remind you that. I, oh man. <laughs> All right. I just thought I could make it ten minutes tonight without a bean. Y'all are too good. Y'all are too good. <laughs> All right. So, so what I was getting at was like, if we don't get the Legos built in time, we have to eat eleven of these. Eleven. Oh, hello, Aaron. Nice to see you. Let me give you a shout out. And y'all, go follow Aaron right now because she's got a good Discord. She's got a really cool Discord event tonight. Emo karaoke. And um, and you can watch us singing over there oh you've been streaming for 13 plus minute you made 10 minutes good call good call good call i wasn't counting the pre-show but you can count it like technically speaking that, that is 12 minutes what is the lego bo- oh yeah i'll show you hold on um let me get the bean in first this one tonight it's already in my hand this is either pear or booger get my water ready mother Booger. Ah, disgusting. At least we won't have to do it with one of them tonight. No, no. Ah, oh, good lord. Uh, but thank you for the redeem, Aaron. Um, well played. Nicely done. Congratulations. <laughs> That's all right. Sorry, right, Irene. Aaron, you got to watch the vibe. The If you go to Island Vibing Presents, Irene was on with Vibing last night, and that conversation got crazy. 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 If you've got the time. You've got the, and thank you for the 2,000 points for the Bork and entire Broadway production challenge. The, the, we will extend the, we'll extend the challenge for into the next month too so it'll be a 60 day challenge just that you only get 30 30 to start so you i will be extended near the end and uh, we'll try it again but it's a big one that's why i'm willing to go another month so let me go and show you this is all very good practice for tomorrow everybody and this is exactly what i anticipate could happen on uh, tomorrow's Dino Stream Fest stream. So these are the Legos we're building. They're not very complex at all. Like, it's, they're only 147 pieces as well. These three Dino structures. So we're very excited. This is very exciting. Like, this should be pretty fun to make. I feel good about my chances of completing them. As to whether I can do it in time, that is up to you. So 
Um, if I don't complete them in time for the raid, and you can see the timer's right there on the corner of the screen, like right here. So if that timer runs out before I finish these, and we'll start it at the two-hour mark. So we're not going to start any earlier than that because that's cheating. And if I don't get it in time, I have to eat 11 extra beans because that's, um, that's, that's the promise for uh, not completing. That's my punishment. And the 11 beans represent 11 Dino Stream Fests so far. So that's really cool. Oh, yeah, we got. I, we haven't redeemed this in a while. A very vibing moment. Let's do it. All right, here we go, everybody. Presenting a very vibing moment. Brought to you by Alan Vibing Presents. <laughs> Irene, I love it. I love it. Let's do it. going to gather up with me. Either you, 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 or you. Oh, thank you very much, Irene, for the redeem. It's always, it never disappoints. And if you want to see more where that came from, go to Vibing's channel, Island Vibing Presents. As we mentioned, it just, Irene was on there with her last night. That was a fun, fun conversation. Fun conversation. So, um, so well, let's go ahead and uh, play some Bubble Bobble, and let's continue to converse. Any questions about Dinosaur Stream Fest or Alan Vine Presents or, or Irene's Late Night Date Night, which is going to be a can't miss on Saturday. <laughs> I'm not joking. It's totally... <laughs> and I feel like the Saturday show tomorrow is going to be similarly out of control. <laughs> so I can't miss that one. You all have to be there. Make it happen. <laughs> it's going to be such a good show. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. So, let's go. Oh, wrong button. Okay. Let me go to this one. Okay, here we go. So, bubble bobble. Let's see how far I can get tonight. Um, Let me move my chat over here so I can see it better. Uh, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, just so I can see everything. Uh, where did I put my alert thing? Where did I put my alerts? Oh, they're on this side. Okay. Maybe I should move. Maybe I should move my bubble bobble thing over here then. You know what? I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to roll. I'm just going to roll with it. Uh, and depend on, I guess, I'm going to depend. Wait, hold on. Let me just see something else before I start. Da -da -da. Um, okay. So let's go back to where we were. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and play. Um, totally out of control, says Irene. Yeah, I'm with it. Okay, so I just got to watch carefully. I'll see if anything crazy happens as we play this game. We'll see. I don't want this to be too loud, so... Oh, I have a good lurk! Irene, have a great lurk! Uh, we have the link up there for everybody to follow our friend Irene, and she'll be back tomorrow with Hippo for late night, late night, date night. And I'm sure everybody in the chat's gonna want to see that pants video with the see-through pants and the undergarments and all that. Like, there's no missing that one. So let's go. So what are these creatures in the game? These creatures are dragons. These are little dragons. I want them to come up together. Come on up. There we go. That's how you get the most points. Like you. Ooh. Whoa. 
Oh, wrong button. Shoot. Yeah, just let me know if the, if the audio levels are okay. Um, gotta make sure that's all real quick. Fuck! It's fine? Okay. Too high, too low. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay I'll down. Thanks. Thanks, Jason. Jason's in the house, Aaron! Pump it up. No more. There we go. Ooh, what a nice game. Hopefully that's better. Just let me know. I can adjust any of these. Turn myself up just a bit. Okay. Um, wow, look at all these burgers. Yeah. Mmm, burgers. Oh, nice! You went to Pinebreath? Oh, Piney's stream is fun. Yeah. He plays a lot of games. I don't think he actually talks on that stream, but... He does a lot of fun stuff on there. Like, I think he did, like... Uh, what is it? Whoa! Oh, damn it! I thought I avoided it! Yeah. It's cool that he streams, though, right? There we go. Oh, for sure, for sure. Jason says, but the games he plays with his crew is super fun. Yeah, I've been on there too. I don't know when he actually streams. I guess he just streams when he can. But it's really cool. Great mod. I think Jason will test. Ooh, wow. No, 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 no! Ooh, nice. Okay, let me think. Hmm. Oh no, shit! Uh, I knew that was a bad spot. There we go, much better spot. Boom. And another better spot. Oh my goodness! That'll work. That'll work. That'll really work. Yes! Nice. I almost got to extend. Alright, get down. 
Seems good. I'm worried about the the the, the purple whale things more. It's harder for me to really get a handle. Oh shit! Ah, fuck. Man, this is fucking the whole level up. Ah. Okay. Yeah, that's a pretty big oof. It's like, everything was like, lined up and I'm like, ah, oh, no. <laughs> it's alright. Now watch. That's what you want to do. You want them to be all popped together just to get the maximum amount of points. You know what, everybody? I have not had pizza in such a long time. Um, for, for nutritional reasons. I, I want to try to limit my car- like, I don't necessarily think I'm a good eater, but... But it helps, you know? Like, the carb counts don't go out of control when I avoid pizza. The same for bagels. And like, that's tough. I love both. But, so I haven't had a pizza... It's probably been a couple- it's probably been a few weeks. It's probably like four, five... Maybe six weeks. I used to have pizza every week. So I guess that just goes to show. <laughs> I was much... <laughs> I had larger girth back then. Mm. That worked. Ooh. Boom. I'm gonna do this. Hold on. I know, it's- it's hard! It, it, it's not easy. It's not easy, I'll tell you. There are nights like last night where I really wanted some pizza. Yeah. But, do what you gotta do. Aaron was saying, I- uh, avoid pizza. I could never. Yeah, it's hard. It, it'd be very hard. Pizza's so good. <laughs> there was one point in my life where I convinced myself that pizza was healthy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well, you know, they got tomatoes, they <laughs> got bread. <laughs> and I'm like, cheese has got calcium? <laughs> it's just like a dumb argument. <laughs> I think that's everybody. Yeah. Whee! Whoa. Muppet says, if you ever come to Boston, go to Regina's Pizza in North End. I can down six slices in one go. Holy cow, Muppets, I'm, I'll take up on that for sure. North End, they say, is the best pizza in Boston, right? That's where they, they it's like, it's like the Brooklyn and the Boston, I guess. Because, like, ooh, look at those popsicles. But Muppets, absolutely, I'd love to meet you. Boston pizza is, like, sneaky good. I've never actually been to Boston, but occasionally they have pizzerias in Cal you know, here in Southern California that are like Boston pizza. I mean, it's pretty much New York pizza. It's, like, pretty much the same thing. I don't... Maybe Muppets can give us a better, like, feel for, like, what the differences are, but... It's just thin crust pizza, too, so it's kind of, like... It's not rocket science, really. Oh shit! Ah, fucking A. I'm not gonna do this shit now. There we go. That was big. I needed to get that D. Let's see. Anyone? Come on, you got this. Ah, jump! There we go. Boom. See, we're gonna miss. I missed some stuff. Like, I, I will, uh, I'll catch up a chat momentarily. Yeah, that was kind of, that was my mom. That's what I gotta do. Get these. Yes! Oh, that's good. Ooh. Oh, I, I kind of want, well, 
Kind of redundant. Ooh, look at all the flan. Look at the flan, you guys. Look at all the flan. Mmm. Best ways to make Davy cuss. Write a curse in chat to make him read it, or watch him get frustrated playing a game. That's right, man. That's right, Aaron. That'll do it. <laughs> That'll do it. Especially adventure games from Sierra. Very high probability of cussing in those games. Come on! God damn. Okay. Mm. I got lucky there. Oh, gotta go down. Gotta go down. Ah! There we go. Yes. Oh, nice. wow! That's a good break for me. Oh, really? Interesting. Okay. I used to not like Flan either, uh, Aaron. Um, but I think I came around it when I realized it's basically just another form of custard. And like, oh, that's I love custard, so I'm kind of down with custard. So once I figure, once I, uh oh, we got a warp. Ooh, I got past level 13. Nice. I'll take that. Oh Jesus Christ, that gates. Oh my God. Ugh. Get over here. Y'all getting trapped down there? Okay. Come on. Wow, they're all stuck. Oh. Uh oh. Why are they all stuck over there, though? Oh, I'll sacrifice it. Yeah. That was going nowhere. Okay. Catch up in chat. Yeah, I, I, I totally agree. I agree. I wonder if they have a t-shirt for the well-looking guys. They're cute. Which they are. So let, me see, where, where, let me catch up on the chat here. So Muppets. Yeah, yeah, Muppets. I got. I, I would love to. I can't wait. One of these days I will go to Boston. That just sounds like a really fun time. So um, I'm all about it. Regina's Pizza? Okay. Sounds pretty good. So Jason says, and they both commented on how they wish they looked like the girl leading the workout. What workout? Hmm. Oh, was this about the... Wait, wait. And Aaron, and then Jason says, I responded from the back of the room. That girl doesn't eat pizza. I didn't say she avoids pizza. I said she doesn't eat pizza. <laughs> and Jason says, we all agreed that it's okay for us to not look like her. She clearly only eats boiled chicken and salad without dressing on it. Yeah, what a, what a, what a fine line that is, right? Like, if you want to look amazing... You have to, like, give up food, basically. Um, so, and Muppet says, I don't get down to Boston too often. We usually stay at the Merchant Mariner, Mariner's house next to Paul Revere's house. Paul Revere, that's cool. They really wear that stuff. Like They really wear the colonial history like a badge over there in Boston, yeah. Same thing with Philadelphia. It's pretty cool. Hey, Brock, welcome in. Pump it up. Good to see you. Let me give you, um, yeah, go ahead and, uh, Aaron, could you give him a shout out? Or Jason, either one. Oh, no worries, Jason, yeah. Well, that's why I've I been, like, stopping to read the chat after every game, because I'm like, I feel like I miss a lot, so I don't want to make, I don't want anyone to feel left out. So, Brett, you have a new, either you have a new podcast or your PGC podcast is doing an episode on TV. 
I'm not sure which one it is, but it sounds like your topic is is unbelievable. Like I, I'm looking forward to hearing that, but I first have to like watch the rest of Stranger Things and then and then I'll get to it. But I will because I only I only have season four. Like I've watched the other three, so I I, I can get to it. Um, I heard it's long, so I should get to it soon. But how are you? Is it alright? Oh wow! Mazel tov. That's great for that's great news about Phil. Congratulations, Phil's having a new kid. Wonderful. Or just having a kid, like is his first one? I keep forgetting Phil's not that old. He's definitely younger than me. So Brett says they are expanding. Is anybody co-hosting this other podcast with you? That's cool, though. Congratulations on your show, Brett. That's really cool. I think you'll get an audience. I mean, that's a great topic. So Brett says there's, there's going to be a variety of content with us to rebrand. And yes, Pat, who has guested on the PPC podcast. I don't think I've heard of Brett. I don't think I've heard from him yet. But uh, I don't think I've seen like them in the Discord and so on. So that's cool. But anyway, Pat's going to co-host okay, for the TV and film podcast. Sweet. Brett says there will still be cooking once too with Phil, just not on the set schedule. Which makes complete sense. It is kind of nice to have a channel like Pretty Good Cooking because it's like a cooking channel for the rest of us. Like an everyman and everyday recipes. Pretty reasonable recipes, ones that most of us can you know, can do. And I would gauge, gauge, I haven't seen the, the intimate detail that Brett has, but like I suspect that the ingredients for these kind of recipes are not that are not that complicated, which is good. <clears throat> okay. No, 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 not there. Let's go here. I didn't do it. Hmm. I did not do it at all. Hmm. Oh, fuck. This guy's spastic, all right. Boom. Um, Brett says, yeah, the PGC recipes do very widely from simple weeknight foods to going all out for beer, yeah, tacos. That beer episode is good. <laughs> That's such a great, such a like, such a good call, like going after media. It just makes sense, like, in our family, you know, I grew up in Mexican family and everything. Like, media was a huge part of our, our parties and stuff, so... You would stew the media and it'd be all juicy, and I'm like... We would have tortillas, and I'm like, let's just make tacos out of it. And we did. And this was like 10 years ago, before they were a thing. It might have even been more than 10 years ago. But I just love that people catching on to it. I think it's really cool. Like restaurants and food trucks and everything. Kind of getting on media. 
or as Phil calls it, BD. Yeah. <laughs> but it's all good. It's all good. Ooh, this is tough. I'm gonna get out of this. Ah, damn. Part of the shtick is the mispronunciation. Yeah, right, 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 for sure. I'm not gonna be giving that hard a time about that. <laughs> Ooh, I've never had an egg before in this game. That's pretty good. Ah, jeez Louise! Ah, that was not a good effort. So, Brett, just out of interest, did you, did you end up having this game for NES? I know a lot of people did. Gotta stop making him angry. I know, I know, you're right. Alright. Oh, okay. You did not, surprisingly. Um, I would, I would have, I played it at my friend's house back in the day. So, I was just borrowing it, in my case. So, I am in a similar boat. Oh, mother! I have that. But this is actually, this is the arcade version, which has even better music. Because the technology, they had better, like, hardware for it. However, the NES version did a really good job. Like, with the graphics. It looks really close. Like, you know, the textures are different, but... It's really, really close. Like, I'm, I'm really impressed with how, how well NES... Um, converted this game to their system. Oh, have a great lurk, learn, Aaron! Hold on, let me give you a shout-out. Yeah, for sure. For sure. But I think the one thing I, that I think Muppets pointed out um, a few days ago when we were playing this game a few days ago was that in the NES version you were you were allowed continues. Oh no, I wasn't. That was Muppets. Someone else mentioned that point. But so that was kind of the compromise for the NES version. They they, they let you continue unlimited times. But yeah, it's kind of interesting that I didn't even know when I was like really young playing this game. I didn't even know it was an arcade game. I just thought this is just a Nintendo game the whole time. Because it had levels, you know. You got to 100 and there's a linear path, you know. So it's kind of neat to see that, no, this was this was on the arcade too. When There's definitely a challenge involved. Oh, no, yeah, Dig Dug is a very, very good comp. Very similar vibes to Dig Dug. Dig Dug is a good game. Whoa! Oh, man, I'm jumping everybody. There we go. Jason says, I've been playing Jaws for NES lately. Ah, yeah, I remember. I've heard about it. Never actually tried it in its day or even after the fact. Like I know, it never occurred to me that that could be a game that you would one I would want to a game that could be played on NES. How do you like it? Is it good? I mean, Angry Video Game Nerd did an episode on it, so I assume it was not great. But I don't know if that's necessarily true. Maybe it was a good game. So, that's one more, one more. There we go. 
There we go. Yeah, so for sure. Games were much more simple. I think that's why I keep playing them. Because <laughs> it's like... I appreciate the simplicity of games from this era. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Refluxes require to conquer them were higher. So they were not easy. It's just like... The process, like, the concept of the game, the layout was simpler, but it wasn't simple, right? So it's like... Oh, my goodness! Uh-oh. We jumped a lot. I was getting... Hmm. I think this is a good, this is a good spot. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, I know what's going on. I'm waiting too long to pop these. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Better. Ridiculous. There we go. Dang, I thought... I... No! Fucking shit! Mother of God. There we go. Ah, uh, you still feeling the still feeling the John Massey Dublin withdrawal Muppets? Ah, uh, I hear ya, I hear ya, I hear ya. He's such a good friend. Damn, it! What was that? A Hershey kit? Oh, we have another shot at it, okay. I'm wondering what that is. Let's see. David Slade, welcome in. How you doing? You know, your our friend Irene was just here like a few minutes ago. Good to see ya. Yeah, definitely. Muppets was his best mod. It was. And I'm sure John has repeatedly expressed his appreciation for our good friend Muppets. <clears throat> so Muppets, did you end up going to Margaritaville? Like, do you have one nearby? Or did you just make one yourself, like at home? And he also has me and Rahomo. Yeah, what a great mod crew you guys have <laughs> over there. Alright. Both of y'all have some pretty strong mod games. So that's high praise indeed, Jason. I think we still got like five more months <laughs> until we get him back. I'm bummed. He'll be back. Sounds like he's having a fun time over there. Let's see. Jason says, my sub here runs out today, so I can reset up the computer. Cool. No need, though. Obviously, never. We're also very... Your support means so much to us. But I would never sweat it as far as subbing or something like that. It's just great to have you here. Yeah. So Jason says, so I can reset up the computer. Apparently, if you set from the phone app, you can't renew until the phone sub is gone. The phone is whack. I don't know why, I do not understand why Twitch has different parameters for like phone usage, for phone whatever, whatever it is, like phone bits, phone subs, they all cost more. 
It's like, what is this? Why would, like, this is the only, like, platform I know that de-emphasizes mobile use. It's like everybody else, like, want, begging you to use their mobile app, but Twitch is like, nah, we're gonna make it harder. That's the strangest thing I can think of. In 2022, it is. Like, it's just weird to think that their app can't be better. Or why wasn't it good in the first place? Like, at, in, when they started in 2011, like, I would think that mobile stuff was a big thing. There we go. <clears throat> oh, right, right, right. Good point. Good point, Aaron. Aaron says the app store takes a cut of the money when you buy beds. That's quite more expensive. Okay. That's fair. It's a big cut, though. <laughs> it's a big cut. Fuck. Nice. Well, Google and Apple are robbers. What do you expect? Yeah, I know. You're right. You're right. This is just like a real pissing contest between Google, Apple, and Amazon, right? That's basically what that all is. Three giant dicks. <laughs> you know? Seeing... Yeah, same, same. I rarely do. I did, like, the first, like, before I knew any better. And I think even after the fact, I might once in a while, but... I try to keep that to the minimum. Ooh, there we go. Woohoo! It is nuts, and I know what you're talking about because I've seen it firsthand now as a streamer myself. Like I know what I know what that number is. It's very accurate, <laughs> very accurate. Why is it that much? Yeah, we ask ourselves, and I don't know because they can't, and they're like people are really getting worried about um, the partner revenue coming down too. Which I don't want to get into that tonight, but it's. It's kind of horseshit. They didn't end up doing it yet, but just the idea that they were thinking about it. Pretty lame. All right. Uh, Jason, have a great lurk. <laughs> I need to go tell my daughter she felt her death. Right on. I hope that goes okay. So good to see you again, Jason. Let me give you one more shout out. If you don't mind. One sec. Uh, I will as soon as it... Oh, wow. Wow. I got lucky. Come on. Okay, that was big. Damn, I thought I'd get that. Too bad. Okay. Oh, that's all right. I was distracted. I'll let it go. Oh, yeah. Foch, Jason. She's 14. Every reason is good reason to cry. Valid. Valid. It's all right. I mean, part grown up. EA Sports. It's in the game. <laughs> yeah. Aaron's right, too. 14's rough. You're just between two places. You know what would be really fun? Keep your ears peered for this one, Jason. I want to stream Rad as a, a Discord event one of these days. I will update you when I have that wherewithal to do so. Oh, really? <laughs> That's great. Yeah, we should do that, right? Am I right? Totally. Totally. Oh, I love this. Jason says, I'm saving you 50,000 points just for that. I don't think you need them. I think I'm just going to do it for, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. I've just got to find, a, find out where to, where to put the movie on. 
And we'll put it on Discord. We'll make it happen. Why am I waiting for the sub to run out? So I can tier 3 sub. Ah. To get points faster. Ah. I don't think I even have a tier 3 sub. But if you're allowed to do it, that's great. But absolutely not necessary. So let me go back to what we were talking about. Um. Yeah, that's always a tough spot, telling your daughter that she failed the test. But... Let's see, what did Brett say? Brett says, I need to start streaming again. I had a lot going on. Just had my workload double at work. Oh, I hate that. Oh, so bad. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Brett, I'm so sorry about your father, too. And you threw out your back. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Brett. What a terrible month this has been for you. I'm so sorry. Yeah, obviously. Understood. Understood. Look, my sympathies, my friend. I, I am so sorry you've been through all this. Holy cow. I just, wow. Oof. Just reading that one by line by line. Yeah, that, is, that is not a fun month. Uh, if you need anything at all, let me know. If you need to talk, if you need to fill in for your podcast, just, uh, you know, anything I could do. I'm so sorry. I, I got no idea. Wow. I really had a lot going on, but I didn't know the extent of it. But take all the time you need. I mean, I'm really sorry, my friend. I'm really sorry. Right up. When it rains, the poor I'm still standing. It's happened to us all. So just know that we're all with you. And um, my condolences, my friend. I'm so sorry. Jason, let me work on that. Save your points. I'll schedule it without the points. I love the thought, though. That's really nice of you. Question. After Rad, if there's enough time, do you want to do BMX racers? <laughs> like a double header? Like, it would just be like both. No, I know, I know. I don't. Neither one is, to be honest. But oh, Brett, thank you so much for the punch. Pump it up. Mm -mm -mm. I'm still learning how to do that motion. But uh, yeah, just to remind anybody else, um, we have the community challenge ongoing. It says we have about maybe 13, 12 days left, but we will extend it. I promise. To Bork, a Broadway production. But Jason says I was raised on it. It's like He-Man the movie. Foch, Foch. It doesn't look like that. You know, 18% is pretty good considering the giant amount it is. It's 400,000 points. Now, when it's that many points... When it's that many points, we got to really do it up. I'll see if I can get some guests, streamers to help uh, co-host this one with me. Um, and we'll see what happens. It probably will play out like a karaoke show, right? So if you want in on it, let me know. We'd love to have you. And meanwhile, the... The chicken nugget challenge is fulfilled, and that means that means we will do that stream on Monday. We're going to try chicken nuggets on Monday, Monday at our normal time, 9 o'clock Eastern, Monday night. Monday night. Be there. Yeah, true story. True story. Wait, it's Stan Castle. Oh, you're just saying who they are. Oh, okay. Well, I definitely know Pete has. I've seen, I've seen him play... What is it called? The Rush? Or whatever the that one song was. John Farnham. Aaron says, if I want to participate or not, it depends on what musical it is. Right, right. We're going to need to negotiate that, too. Um, we'll talk. We'll talk. Because I truly have no idea. That's pretty flexible in my book. We'll see. 
Oh, okay. Send me an angel. And thunder in your heart are the two main songs. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's go another round. But see, here's the thing, Aaron. I do not want to do a good, like, something that's really near and dear to your heart because we could desecrate it. So we will not, I repeat, we will not do cats. Oh, Jason, have a great lurk. Um, hopefully your, your, your daughter takes it okay. <laughs> that's a very creative version of the lurk command. I'm hit. Even with the apostrophe. Wow. Jason and Rush's caught spouse aggro. <laughs> That's so good. That's so good. So creative. <laughs> Little bit. Thank you for the 2,000 bits for the Borka Broadway Production Community Challenge. Right. Right. No, I know that too. I know that too, Aaron. We can't do something that good. It has to be something that we can kind of play around with. Maybe something a little less popular. We're going to offend so many people if we do something like that, like the iconic. So, completely agree. And Aaron was saying, if you pick cats and destroy, you would need a new mod. But mostly, can still, though, still. I think we should do something that would benefit from the idea of borking the songs. Um, so this will be a group discussion for sure. I don't know. I could use my, my, my homo's advice in that area. We'll see. All right, let's go. I like it. Muppet says something's rotten would be in the neighborhood. That would work really well. I have to go watch it. You know what? I might legit just order a mushroom pizza after this after this stream. Like, I'm like in such a mood for pizza right now. I'm like, f my diet. I'm just gonna have some. I'm just gonna have some pizza. Let's see. Sushi, yeah. Nope. Okay. Cluster. Yeah, look at that. I like it. Yes. Thank you all for your uh, your ideas, though. By the way, you like it, Aaron? I love it. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Aaron, I love the call. Aaron said, "Yes, Davy, indulge. I'm with you. It's Friday night. Let's go. Some pizza and karaoke. It's gonna be a fun night. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited." And will the secret special surprise song be in effect? Time? I mean, that depends on a lot of factors. But, hopefully. I practiced my two songs today. Um, I had most of them, mostly, they were mostly down, but they were like little things. What's my age again is tough to sing, because like, there's a lot of words in one sitting. So I had to practice it a couple times to get that down, get the timing down. And that will be on Aaron's Discord tonight. And if you want to find it, go to Aaron's Twitch page. Hold on, let me throw that in. Muppet says, I had Domino's Pizza a few weeks back. Forgot how much I hate it. They cut a round pizza into square pizzas. Pieces. Eh, I mean, I've seen that before. Like, the really thin ones, they'll do that, yeah. I've seen Papa John's do that, too. Like... It's really thin, so it's like they can't just do regular slices. 
So they cut it into square pieces. I've actually seen that. Why did you have Domino's Pizza few weeks back if you hate it, though? Like, was it at a party, Muppet? That's interesting. Hold on a second. Let me just go with BRB for a second. And we're back. I just needed to do something fairly unsavory with my face, so I took care of that. And we're back. Uh, let's go over here. Yeah. And Aaron says, unless you order th it thin, it's not that thin. Do you guys have, Aaron, do you have any go-tos in your area? Like, is there, like, a good local place for pizza? Or do you normally just go to the basics, like, the, like, the, the go, you know, the standard, the standbys, like, Pizza Hut and Domino's and shit. I mean, Pizza Hut, mushroom pizza sounds phenomenal. <laughs> I mean, seriously. That sounds so good. The new chain that they have in Oxnard, where I'm from, but they don't have it here in LA. Marcos. It is so good. Oh my god, I miss. I love Marcos. Oh sweet, sweet yeah. And I know you'd be a you'd be you'd be a hard marker on that. But Nino's they make legit New York pizza over there. I love to hear that. No, not a fan. Oh no, not a fan. Aaron says, "Why, Davy? Why?" I like it. Their sausage is good. But the thing is, like California pizza is just, like, it's just not going to be on the same level. Like that's that's the thing. It's like I'd love to have I'd love to have the Farah or John's or that kind of pizza around here. But the tunnels, Lombardi's. But to ask for that in California is not realistic. The, the water level is just not the same. Aaron says Marco's Pizza is the definition of crappy children's birthday party pizza. <laughs> it's better than Papa John's, though. Would you would you get would would you agree to that? And if you don't, that's fine. But I just don't want to. Certainly a step up a step up over Papa John's, though. Oh my god, I can't believe I dodged that. Oh no! I thought Chuck E. Cheese was definitely a crappy children's pizza. Well, them too. <laughs> Both. Like, I respect that, because, like. Oh damn, where was I? Whoa! I'm out of control here. Damn it! Nice. That's what I needed. That is fake food. Yeah. Yeah, Chuck E. Cheese is a whole other animal, isn't it? It's just kind of... It's a little weird. We need to find a place that makes, like... I mean, I, we have a Joe's Pizza out here in Samo. So it's, like, the closest thing to New York pizza there is. La Monica's, too. Like, it's really good. It's pretty good. But... Charles Entertainment Cheese, motherfucker. <laughs> that's pretty. That's a pretty good callback. So you remember that, huh, huh, Brett? That's really funny. Charles Entertainment Cheese. <laughs> it's completely accurate. I'm just saying it's funny. But yeah, chain pizza, but the compromise we make with five dollars. Maybe where you live, it's like 20 bucks where I live. And that's if you pick it up. I think it's like 25. It's a weird spot. 
Like, if you're gonna pay $25 for a pizza, you better be damn good. So it's like, maybe I do just go Vito's. Vito's is pretty good. I get Vito's. Vito's is a local place around here. Kind of makes it in New York style. Muppet says, the only fast food I ever really did as a kid is McDonald's. And oh my goodness, Aaron! Holy cow. But Muppets continues. That was before they made their fries less salty and got rid of the play areas. Well, the good thing about the fries is that you can order them extra salty. In fact, I was at McDonald's yesterday and I did exactly that. I got extra salty fries. They were as good as they ever were. So good. So good. Fries need to be salty. It's kind of pointless without the salt. It's like a baked potato, but not as good. Oh my god, look at jump. Ooh, nice. Oh, sure, sure, sure. I got you. I got you, Brett. Yeah, the delivery fee is a, is a scam. Yeah, I have it. That's why I think that's another reason why I'm not really doing pizza these days. It's like, it's so expensive if you want to have it delivered. It's like, sure, it's $5.99 if you go over there to pick it up. But, like, the big charm of pizza is that the delivery fee is. Anyway, uh, let's see what we got here. Muppet says, the actors that get to play McDonald's are contracted, so they can't audition or perform in anything else. Why? Why are they so strict about that? Like, what do you do? I react to McDonald's commercials. That's it? Like, yeah, I can send Like, what? What is that? Oh man, Aaron, that's gnarly. By the way, oh man. But Aaron says, I hit my nose and it started bleeding, and I panicked hard. My sister found me and jacked me out. Oh my goodness, Aaron, so sorry. That would be traumatizing for all of us. Yeah! Look at that! So good! So good. So, out of interest, what do you guys all like on your pizza? What do you all like on your pizza? Do you do... Are you just a plain pizza guy person? Do you go for pepperoni? Do you go for mushrooms? What's your... What's your feel? Oh, got an extra life. Oh, shit! Ooh, jalapenos. Nice. I've done that before. That was a jalapeno with spicy choices. Muppet says, usually just pepperoni and mushroom. Extra cheese and all extra crispy. Yeah. Aaron says, I usually go pepperoni and black olives. Great choices. I love all these. And then uh, Aaron concludes, I mostly get shit for liking black olives, but shut up. I like black olives, so you won't get shit from me at least. Let me get this martini. Why would a martini be one of the things in a kitty game like this? That's a little inappropriate. But <laughs> questionable. Questionable. I'm fine with it, but I'm just thinking it's a little questionable for a game of this kind. This kind which is clearly marketed to children. Ah. Yeah, all of it good. I know you've talked about that on the PGC podcast, too. How big a fan of all of you are. This is slowing down. Oh, no. oh, damn it, I thought I had that one. 
Oops. This is not the level I need to be stuck on. I need to get even a little further than this. There you go. Come on. There you go. I have a game. What is it? No, I don't. This is not a good level to be stuck on. There we go. What the fudge? I thought that we'd be done. Oh, good god, are you serious? Yeah, I'm with you on Fair and Error Bread. My sister loves it though, but I am not with it. I mean, I'm good for my sister. I mean, I'm not saying it's not bad food, but it. Fair Bread is definitely overpriced. Yeah. Aaron's right. This is, that's why it's better with two players. Yeah. Aaron's just, it wasn't made for kids though. The Wikipedia page says they wanted it to be a game for guys to play with their girlfriends so they could enjoy the game together. Oh, yeah. The arcade version probably wasn't for kids, huh? Yeah, you're right. That makes sense, Aaron. Um, yeah, I have not been in a Panera in a long time. Every Panera that's opened up in my area has closed. Just gives you a feel for it. Yeah, it is totally overpriced, and people weren't buying it. So <laughs> it's kind of catch-22, right? Like, well, it's overpriced, and no one's buying it because it's overpriced, so it closes. Pretty simple. So, not much to that. Sounds like Davey needs a girlfriend. Hey, fair. I'm with it. Wait, did I actually start the second player? <laughs> that was not intentional. Wow, that's that is cool. I was not attempting that. Oh, Look at that, Brett. You spoke it into existence. And just as soon as like just like that, she's gone. Uh, Baron says, Panera bread bowls are delicious, but I only allow them up to get it during the rare days when it's cold in Florida. Uh, Muppet says, on Twitter a few days ago, I saw a behind-the-scenes video of the recording of the Chili's Baby Back commercial. Yeah, that has song has been in my head ever since. Very effective advertising, right? They're, but their ribs are not that good. They're really dry. Like, it's funny. I mean, they're good for, I guess, for what it is, but... It's just ribs are not that expensive compared to the most barbecue places, but... Great jingle. I agree. Completely, extremely memorable jingle. Muppets. There we go. Oh, the food. Uh, Brett says the only chain was acceptable with barbecue stickies. I've been. It's pretty good. I mean, uh, yeah, pretty much what you're pretty much what you're on that though. Like, certainly, if you're talking about national chains, I would never go in with that. Any of that like stickies. Bananas! Bananas! There we go. Aaron says, that's why they needed the jingle for it, to lure people into eating their shitty ribs. <laughs> yeah, you're on it. You're on it, Jaren. They're not that great. And Brett knows. 
and so does Croissant, that you can make better ribs on your own. Really easily. We saw both of y'all make some great ribs on Discord. Whoa, what's all this? Oh, shit. Nice. That's all right. Baki said they were to raid tonight. But the goal, I would say, is to get someone who's going to be on Serene Fest tomorrow. This is like a little teaser. Um, I, I would try not to do music tonight if we're doing games. We'll see. I'll see who's on. How are we doing on time? Okay, we got 40 minutes. There we go. There we go. I feel God in this chilies tonight. <laughs> That's a good callback. Out of here. I did it. And again. And again. Get out of there, you little goof. I think we got it. <clears throat> oh, that's fine. Damn it. It's a tough level because, like, it's not easy to get inside that little heart. Okay. Take the outer runs. 
Come on. That was definitely a tough one, um, but I had a good feel for it. I think. I thought so. All right. <clears throat> Let's see what we got over here. <laughs> I have a way to save the game states, so if I really, really, really want to finish the game, I could do that. I really want to finish the game. Hang on. Do it. So close. Aaron says, all right, Davey, unfortunately, I got to do the dishes and whatnot and then get ready for care. I guess I got to head off right on, Aaron. Have a great night. It's good to see you again. Uh, let me give you a shout out. Hold on. I'll pause the game. I'll give you a shout out. What song are the dishes singing? Um, I'm, o I'm not okay. I'm not okay. That's the one. That's the one. Classic from uh, My Chemical Romance. Um. If anybody wants to know what I'm singing tonight, I'm singing two songs. I'm singing one from Blink-182 called What's My Name Again. And the other song I have planned to sing is uh, Sugar We're Going Down Swinging by Fall Out Boy. Boy. And that should be fun. So go to Disc go to Aaron's channel on dis on Twitch. Then locate her, her Discord page and do it up. Be Our Death, the emo version of Be Our Guest. Now <laughs> Good. Aaron, I'll update you on what happens with the pizza. Um, I feel like we're gonna go for the pizza. We're, we're definitely going for the pizza, but just like, what pizza will it be, and you know how good is it, and all that. I'll let you know. So uh, y'all can catch both of us over there in, on our Discord in about an hour and a half. Really fun. Uh, Brett says, "Are you gonna play the new two TMNT game? It's retro style beat 'em up. It's included in Game Pass if you have it. Sweet. Yeah, I absolutely do that. I totally would do that game." I know I have to do more modern games to have any shot at having people <laughs> watching my gaming streams, but uh, but I'd be glad to. Yeah, it'd be really fun. Interestingly, as far as the gaming is, as far as gaming, it seems like I've had my most success in terms of like viewership with two games. Well, not three, three. I think that the Sierra series has been really, really good in getting people to to join in. Um, so, Space Quest 3 streams were all really good. Um, but the other two were, clearly, Oregon Trail was the number one. Like, everybody seemed to love Oregon Trail. Like, we would get so many people in to watch Oregon Trail. We'd get all these raids and everything. It was really, really remarkable. Um, and the other one was Where in the World of Carbon San Diego. Which was really fun. So, good to know. That sort of works. 
Where's my... Oh. Yeah. Okay. Hold on down. One more. Whew, where is it? Oh my goodness. Wow. <clears throat> I will take it. Wait, is it really? And Mike Patton from Faith No More singing the 80s TMNT thing. Is that really who that was? That's so cool. Faith and Words is a fun band. There we go. Look at that cleanup. Nice. That's pretty good. How do I do this? That didn't quite work. <laughs> that didn't quite happen. But I think I have the right idea. Let's kind of do it over here. Kind of trap. Shit, I thought they trapped them. That's not a good strategy. Okay. Let's go hang out over here. Okay. One more. Took care of the outside ones. Ooh, I did it! That's exactly what I was trying to do. Try to situate a spot where that little tidal wave would come in, and I seem to have done it. I don't know exactly what I did, but pretty good. Very happy. Damn. I'm still happy though. I, I I got a way out of. I figured out how to get out of thir level thirteen. Let's give Brad another shout out. It's been a minute. I'm glad to see you in chat, my friend. Got any uh, good food plan tonight, or did you have? Oh, it's already like almost nine, so I guess you did. So, any good quality foods for you? Well, speedy recovery to your dad, too. I, I mean, heart attacks are a process. If you survive them, it's awesome. But they're definitely a process coming back from them. I still remember when my grandpa had one. Many years ago. And it took a while. But he was good. He was good after that. That's why I run and I do the low carb stuff. Like I just don't. I don't want to run. Like that's just not fun. 
Really scary. And Brett says, unfortunately, on a diet. So, eating some boring ass food of late. So, tonight was some chicken breast with Tony Cacciatore's spaghetti squash. Oof. But, I mean, that's not horrible. You made the most of it, certainly. But, yeah, compared to what you had, what you could, the stuff that. So, compared to, like, what. Compared to, like, the really tasty stuff. Yeah. I hear ya. I should have gotten those letters first. Ooh, boy. Oh, no, not this one. Oh, boy. <clears throat> Let me see. Let's see what I can do. This seems like a good spot. Okay. I need to clear some bubbles. Do this effectively. Shit! Oh, God. Ah, this is a way to go about this. Yep. Not bad. There we go. Uh oh. Damn it! Guess you don't have that kind of control. There we go. There we go. Oh. And are you talking like skinless chicken breast too, Brett? Like that. That's definitely boring. Boiled chicken breast. <laughs> I'm laughing, but that's what you got. You got to do what you got to do. You got to do what you got to do. It totally, it's going to be completely worth it. I mean, it's a bummer, but it'll be for the best. So hang in there, my friend. Yep, and properly portion sized too. Oh, okay. Hmm. I salute you. You're eating how people, sh how I should be eating. And I don't, <laughs> but I should be eating like that. That sounds pretty good to me. Hey, Big Papa, it's good to see you. How you doing tonight? See, Big Papa says I had three sandwiches. They were ancho chili chicken. Oh, my God, that sounds so good. Wow. Lettuce, tomato, and some cheese, white cheese and tortilla. These sandwiches are sometimes commonly called tacos. Ah? That's a that's quite the debate. And hello, Big Papa. He says, hi, Davey. Hi, back, Big Papa. Hope you're well. Hope everything's all right over there. Brett says, I'm just not happy with my current weight and blood test numbers, and I'm to blame, so time to bore my taste buds. Then it'll, it'll get the job done. Yeah, you're doing the right thing. That's the biggest thing, you know? You know, I don't want to make fun of that diet at all, because um, if it keeps you from a heart attack, it's completely worth it. So you're doing the right thing, absolutely. And, uh, you know, you got creative ways to make food, make any food you make really fun. So... I think you can you can you can make that all palatable, and it's totally a good call. So good luck, Brett, and uh, we salute you in your improved nutrition. All right, <clears throat> so we got the twenty minutes left here. Uh, Big Papa, your sandwiches, aka tacos, um, whichever they may be, they sound amazing tonight. Pinballs, pinball, pump it up. Good to see ya. I've got quinoa with tofu and veggies. Ooh. Now, when I was younger, I would have been like, oh, you had tofu and veggies. Oh, my God. But but today, I'm like, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> it does. I'm not joking. I like it. Yeah. 
Brett says, the whole dad thing's got me getting my shit together. For sure. For sure. I had a good friend of mine who had a heart attack. And it did, it made me think hard about what I was eating and what I was doing and what I was not doing. And why it's so important. To do the best you can to eat right. Ah, that didn't work. That's fine. I'm this. Reddington says, I like quinoa, but not tofu crazy, though I'd go for seitan. And Pinball says, I always forget about it, but I know tofu. Hail seitan. <laughs> Uh, sure. <laughs> Let's see. Can you get up? Okay. More cluster together. Yes! Look at this. Look at all the burgers. All the burgers. Ah! I didn't have enough time. That's last one. Yes, but I gotta go down here first. Boom. Oh. Big corn. <laughs> I just looked at that the thing. It is, it is like this big oil. This big corn. Yeah, big corn is a real thing. Big corn is a real thing. Whoa. Yes. Ooh, 30,000 points for that giant piece of cake. Would corn milk be good? Like, good for you? I wonder. Come on. No! I don't want that! What are you doing? This is like the easiest one to do. Oh my freaking lord, and I just fucked it up. I was like, this is the easiest one to do. And I messed it up somehow. There you go. I should do it! Yeah! Yeah! I was hoping there would be like a perfect score. Not fun. Lateral toaster! Oh my goodness! Oh, come in! Hold on, I gotta pause. Okay, I'll bring you in. Hang on. Hey, everybody. Lateral toaster. What a pleasant surprise. Welcome to the show. How are you doing tonight? Welcome in. Right, let me bring you in. Let me bring you in. How was your stream? How was everything? Toaster, who was a good friend of ours from the Dino community, is here tonight bringing his party to the Sandwich Show. It is so nice to meet you. Uh, welcome in. Thank you so much for the raid. Uh, my name is Dave. I'm the host of the Sandwich Show. It's a variety stream we do here on Twitch. Each week we have an interview with somebody from the Twitch world. And um, we've had a lot of great interviews in our time since we started back in May last year. And we also do classic gaming like we're doing tonight with Bubble Bobble. So nice to meet you, Lateral Toaster. Let's give you a shout out. My friend is so good to see you. And Eddie Brown is part of the raid too. Welcome in, Eddie Brown. Let me give you both shout outs. Um, unless Jason's still in here. Oh, check it. That actually worked. No, no, no. It's a Lateral Toaster. Let's see. What has Lateral Toaster been up to? Musician! Well, pretty sweet, my friend. That's so good to see it. So, yeah. So, I'm a talk to host, but we do all sorts of fun things here. You play music, too, occasionally. Um, Eddie, let me give you a shout-out as well. I, I'm Eddie Brown is a good friend of Ryan, that E-flat guy. I think, and if I remember correctly, you are his uncle? Oh, cool. Okay, yeah. Same here. Same here. Hey, thanks to my pro musician. I dig it. I dig it. So, folks, you can see the counter on the corner of the screen. We are counting down to Dinosaur Streamfest tomorrow. The Streamfest itself starts at 9 o'clock Eastern Time. 
um, with our great friend Daniela Lard, who will lead it off and then let us all do our thing as part of an incredible event. All of the folks in the dino community are getting coming together and doing streams with a lot of surprises in between, and we're really excited about it. So uh, I'll show you what it's all about. Here it is. Start Like we said, our show here is going to be the Lego Challenge. It'll start at 2.45 Eastern. We'll have two hours to build some Legos. If we get it done, great. If we don't, there's a huge-ass Bork in store, and we'll see what, which one it ends up being. And it's up to you, the chat, to make the decision happen. So um, here's what we're building tomorrow. We're building some dinos. Check it out. We got three dino structures that we're going to try to build inside of the stream. There's a triceratops. There's a ter there is a pterodactyl and a T-Rex. All included as part of the Dino Stream Fest stream. And that is going to be really fun to build. Um, but give it up. Oh, Godfather, right on. Eddie, thank you for clarifying. I appreciate you. Um, so Uncle and Godfather. It's so good to... It's, I love hanging out with you when I can. Very good down-to-earth music, Eddie Brown. It's so, so good to see you again. Um, glad you could be part of this. And so, let's see. Anyone else in chat that we should say hello to? Uh, no, not at the moment, but... Uh, I hope your stream was great. It sounds like you had a good time playing some music. Um, lateral toaster. I think I followed you. Let me double check. I'm going to go click over here and, and just make absolutely sure. If I did not, then I will make it so. I I, I did indeed follow you. <laughs> I see my face on there, so that's good. From the raid. Cool. But yeah, welcome in. So we're here for another few minutes. We're going to play some Bubble Bobble. And... It was great. All in the family joined in tonight. Oh, all the family joined in tonight. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. That's so cool. That is so cool. Um, well, that was pretty rad. So welcome in. Welcome to our world. We'll be back here tomorrow. Um, now, the part that I imagine your friends and yourself will be concerned with will be the period between 5 o'clock Eastern and 5 or 30 Eastern where the dino raid will come in. And that's what the counter is accounting for when the dino raid arrives. But we'll be streaming before that too. And during the stream, as we mentioned, we'll try to build some Legos. There'll be many surprises in store when the dinos get here. And I'm really looking forward. It's things that you might not even be expecting. So we're so excited to get bring everyone in. Um, last time we did Dino Stream Fest back in December, we had some friends um, to join us for that. Tonight, this time around, I'll just do it solo, but um, we have all of you here to help us to help us along, and it should be a really fun time. So, yeah, let's get back to some classic games. We'll play a little bit more, and then we'll raid out to an... I'm, and I'm hoping, ideally, we will raid out to another dino friend. So I gotta go... I'm gonna go look at my sheet and see who's, uh, who's in our stream fest tomorrow. And that's been trying to do this all week. We'll see if it works out. Let's see. Uh, yeah... Oh, we'll find it. We'll, we'll we'll make things happen here. Uncle Jimbo would be awesome. <laughs> Random but awesome. I would love it. But we'll see. Um, but there are many many dino friends stream here in our world on Twitch, and I want to make the things happen. So let's go do the things. Let's see. We'll find someone. We'll find someone here. Maybe this guy. Maybe this person. I will check. But, uh, mm -hmm. right. oh, I, I guess I can concern myself with this a little later, but, um, wait a second. Isn't Ryan supposed to be streaming tonight? Where's Ryan? I don't see Ryan up here. Like that E flat guy. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Anyway, we'll, we'll go back to business. If you see any dinos streaming, let me know. Uh, particularly those who will be in the, uh, on the stream fest tomorrow. We would love to know. Um, Lateral says, it was great. Oh, yeah, oh no, we met us before. So, uh, let's get back to Bubble Bobble. We're doing really well in this particular run, so let's see how much further we can get. Whoa! Always happens after, after a pause. And again! I'm so bad at this. And again. Let's see. Let me go 
over here. Oh, they're getting smart. Ah! Yep, don't mad. Oh! Got one more? Oh, he didn't stream that. Okay, right on. Because, and it sounds like it's because he's saving it for tomorrow, which makes sense. So, you will catch Ryan tomorrow. I'll give a shout out to Fatty Black Guy momentarily. But he is also part of Dino Stream Fest. And tomorrow at 11:30 Eastern, in the 11:30 a.m. Eastern, we will hear from our friend Ryan Fatty Black Guy. So don't miss it. Don't miss any of these streams. It's gonna be a really fun show, fun uh, stream fest tomorrow. Let me go give a shout out to Ryan. So that's who you can follow. Um, I, did I do the did I do the ad? Okay, let me do the ad over here. Dino Stream Fest tomorrow. Thirty streamers and Ryan and I and Lateral Toaster are blessed to be among them. Um, for more information, go to the URL below, tinyurl.com slash 8FTYJ2YS, and you'll know the rest there. And you can keep tracking the stream fest at that link. All right, on we go. Let's continue with Bubble Bobble. <laughs> I almost have three, 300,000 points. This is extraordinary. Is it my first stream fest? Uh, it's not. Uh, we did one in December, which was unreal. <laughs> People still talk about that stream fest because, like, I I slurped the sandwich on that on that on that stream, and it. It grossed out some people, understandably, but people were really, people were really kind of kick out of it. So let me give you the clip. I'll show you the clip just to show you what that was all about. Pretty nuts. Uh, let me see. Give me a sec here. Uh, yeah, it is. Yep. There you go. So in the chat, I'm about to pop the paste the link to the slurping sandwich incident, which. Still gets talked about. That was back in December. Let's see. Do I have time for one more? Yes. I think I have time for one more. <laughs> Pinball. Exclamation point slurp. That's pretty funny. Ah, missed it. <laughs> Lateral Toaster says, oh boy. <laughs> oh my goodness, what is this? I don't know if that was good or bad. I have no idea. Jeez, I need to jump. I need to jump that better. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, look at all the popsicles. Corn dog. Boom. Cool. Shit. Double shit. Lateral says, I'm a little bit scared for tomorrow. I just celebrated a month of streaming. I don't know what to expect at all, but they're dino, so everything should be fine, I guess. <laughs> oh, man. Lateral toaster, you are not ready. But nobody could be ready for it. Nobody. No matter how much experience you have streaming or how many followers you have or whatever, you will never, ever be ready for Dino Stream Fest. It is just not possible. The level of chaos is on another level. But embrace it! It'll be so much fun! You're gonna love it! Don't worry about it! Just have fun! It's gonna be a great time, I promise. Let's see who we got over here. Yes. Like that slurping incident was completely unplanned too. Just to give you an idea, like if you, whatever you plan, it almost never happens. <laughs> But it's great! It's all about- it's what it's all about. It's what it's all about. Embrace the chaos. It's always fun. There we go. That was worth the investment. Yes! Tougher level than I realized. Yeah. I want this. No, what? Ooh, look at that! Oh my goodness, look at that giant cupcake. Cool. Okay, this is sneaky tough. Ow. Oh shit. Wow. This is magical power. Do I get to keep that? It's really good power. I'm not getting anybody. Nope. That was only for that level. That was a fun power, though. Come on. Yeah, get that out of the way. Ah, oh, I thought I'd get that.
Oh, come on! Alright, let's see what he got. Oh, jeez. Definitely a tougher level than you think. There we go, we got him! Yes! Alright, I think that's good enough. We'll, we'll finish it here. Oh, too bad! Too bad! That would have been really fun. Oh well. So, that's okay. Alright, folks. Well, that's the end. Um, let's go run some credits and say thank thanks to everybody. So, we'll do it. And then we'll be back here tomorrow for Dino Street Fest. Pump it up! I'm really excited about it. So we'll see who wins. Will the chat win? Will I win? Well, either way, it's going to be a lot of fun. Will the Legos be built? Time will tell. So um, let us run the credits and thank all the people. And let's see if I can find them. I can find them. Here we go. Okay. So, everyone, here are the people we should be thanking. We will be thanking. Um, yeah, thank you so much. For being a part of this. Jason and Aaron, thank you for your help with the raids tonight. Let's give some mod love in the chat, folks. Mod love in the chat, folks. Thank you so much for the raid lateral toaster. Uh, incredibly nice of you to do that. I really appreciate your your, your support. And um, um, and good luck to you tomorrow. I think you're going to have a great show. It's going to be a really fun time. Um, I, I'm i really looking. I, I, I think you're, I think all good things are in store for you. Um, all the best, my friend. And uh, let's go find someone to raid. Now, let's see if we got a dino here that we can raid that's going to be part of this stream fest tomorrow. Uh, let's see. Let's see who we got. Let us see who we have. Saba. A lot of IRL gigs tonight. Jukesters are IRL. Matt Suarez is IRL. Just Joe is IRL. But we are after some other folks. Is Jason Coulson going to be part of our stream fest tomorrow? Let us go see. Let us check. We are checking. Um, I do not see him listed. No. Um, let's see. Oh, thank you, Lateral Toaster. Yeah, absolutely. Let's give Lateral Toaster one more um, follow. I mean, shout, shout out. And folks, please give our, give our friend Lateral Toaster a follow because I think... He's just started again. It sounds like he's off to a great start. So we should show some love, Dino love, Sam Fam love, and otherwise love to our friend Lateral Toaster. Please give him a follow and uh, support his work or his or her work. Should be really fun. C2! Welcome in. Uh, we're actually finishing, but it's so good to see you. Let me give you a shout out. There you go. I know we got a karaoke thing to go to, so we will be there in about an hour. Um, I'm trying to find a dino to raid. I do not see any, so it makes this decision a little bit tougher. Um, I will give it one last. Okay, so, so what we could do, let's do the next best thing. We can't raid a dino, but what we could do is raid someone that the dino, raid a place where the dino raid went, which is Dodgeball TTV. And so, Danielle Allard and her community went over there after her show this morning, and, um... Yeah, thank you, uh, CTM. I appreciate you for saying that. Well, it'll be a really fun stream one way or the other, am I right? So, uh, so let's go do the raid. We're going to raid uh, Dodgeball TTV. And let's go say hi to them and see how their tournament is going. And we'll say goodnight for now. But we're back at 2.45 Eastern Time tomorrow. Um, we, we look forward to seeing you then. And it should be quite chaotic. I promise you that. 
So take care, everybody. And just to repeat, Dino Stream Fest is going to be unbelievable. Go to the link right here in the chat. Give him a follow. Let me give you the raid call. Raid call. Oh, yes. Dino Hype. Let's go. <laughs> Dino Hype for sure. If you're a sub to the channel, use the sub raid call. And we're going to head over to, <laughs> to Dodgeball TTV and raid them and see how the Dodgeball tournament is going. So we'll see you tomorrow. But thanks again, everybody, for joining us tonight. It's been a good time. And uh, like I said, back tomorrow. And by the way, one more thing. Monday, we're going to come back here at our normal time. And we're going to do the Chicken Nugget Tasting Challenge. We hope you enjoy. So until then, take care, everybody. Have a great rest of your Friday. And we'll see you tomorrow afternoon. Oh, for sure. You've been you've been Muppets? That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, we're going to – this will be really fun. Go follow Dodgeball TTV as well. This looks like a really fun channel. So um, – Take care for now, everybody, and we'll see you there. Dodgeball TTV, give them a follow. Take care.